All right, hey Aries. So I'm doing a singles read for you guys. I'm gonna pull a power thought card to see what message the universe has for you. And you're, you'll find resonance with it if this is your read. So what message for Aries do we have? What messages for Aries? All right, your message. I love life. All right. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give back to me. To give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. Aries. So you love in life right now? Aries. Yes. You're just missing one little piece to the, the life's puzzle, right? All right, so let's see what energy you're in. What is Aries calling in? Look at getting to know one another. So you possibly already know who this person is. And this is going to be confirmation. What energy is Aries in? Energy. So I feel like you're coming out of a period of um, being single. All right. I feel like uh, you were in break mode and you have just recently met somebody and I feel like it's um, starting off to be successful. All right. Um, I, I just feel like this is a win. This is forward movement. All right. It could be that you are dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces person, um, but you're loving their energy and um, I feel like it's all new. I feel like it's new, but I feel like you're already looking at it as a win in your in, in your book. So let's see what this person's energy is. I'm redoing it because of the way it slid out of my hand. I don't I didn't like it. If it comes back out, then <laughs> What is this person's energy? All right. They are coming out with, okay. So they had pay attention to the red flags that flopped out and then now it's deception. So let's see why they are coming out with deception. So I feel like, um, okay, if you guys have been seeing the numbers 555 five, five a lot, this could be yours. Um, but I feel like this person has been hurt a lot in the past. Okay, I feel like you might be dealing with an energy that's not completely healed up. And they might not be offering up a whole bunch when, when it comes to their love. All right. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing it as a bad thing. I just feel like deception could be more prominent in this person's life than, than actual love. Is, that's kind of how I'm feeling. So why is the five of cups here? Because they want wish fulfillment. And I feel like they've been um, kind of bamboozled in the past. Why is the five of swords here? Yeah, I feel like, you know what? I feel like this person has dealt with an energy of the past that kind of distorted their view. And... and they haven't closed out the cycle on that person yet. What is this person like? Very guarded. They they're very guarded. They have their heart space uh, all bottled up and 
what so what are they like they want commitment they want the stable beginning they want when somebody says i'm going to take you on a date they want that to happen it's like if they're heartbroken they do they want to come out of that heartbreak i feel like you're going to actually open this person up I don't feel like you're a band-aid for this person. I feel like you're going to be the catalyst to them waking up um, on, on accepting or being able to accept new love. What would be the challenges? Challenges. Finding that balance. And I don't feel like that's on your end. I feel like it's going to be on their end. What are some other challenges? I feel like this person, they're not going to... Yeah, they're not going to be able to see success when it sits right in front of their face. So I feel like you might just have to talk to this person about what your intentions are. I feel like this person has been used more than once. Like we had sex and then they left. I feel like that's happened more than once with this person, but they don't, I don't feel like they put themselves out there like that. I just feel like that's, I feel like they've probably been ghosted a lot and they, they, that's the energy. What would help? What's going to help these challenges? Yeah. I feel like it's, first of all, being right out in the open with this person. That's going to help. Don't hide your feelings when it comes to this person um, and tell them what you expect or what you want. Like if you're looking for a relationship, tell them, which I feel like you are. Yeah, talking about the past situation too, maybe getting this person to open up. I feel like that's going to be huge for this situation. So what are the favorable aspects of this? Favorable. I feel like it's it's uh, kind of getting through this um, first initial period. Like, I don't feel like you're gonna see it like a, a hot mess of a person. I feel like, but you know what's gonna help the favorable is letting this person know how you feel, um, letting them know what you mean to them, right? And I feel like on both your guys' ends, this is gonna be a form of wish fulfillment for you guys. Is the attraction going to be instant? The five of wands comes out. I feel like you guys have already met. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who just recently met somebody. You guys are going to know. Seven of cups. Sun card. I feel like the the attraction is completely there. I just feel like your person, I feel like they're the ones that are dealing with the more conflicted energy. I don't, I'm not going to pull cards on when or how we're going to meet because I feel like you guys have almost just came into union or it's happening any day now. So what is the long-term um, potential of this relationship? You got the Six of Wands. The long term, look at that. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Soulmates. So we have a victory card coming out. The win. The long term potential. I feel like you guys, when you kind of get through this initial um, phase right here, it's like y'all being able to walk in that, that uh, l the, the path that's lit in. Lynn, the path that's lit um but i feel like overall potential is success all right partnership stability long-term commitment like this is um setting goals together making plans seeing everything come to fruition all right and then you have that two of cups at the bottom of the deck is there any advice any advice for aries I feel like your team, your advice, I feel like is going to be to help this person realize 
commitment, realize love, all right, when it's right there. Maybe even too, if you're a spiritual um, Aries, um, helping them or giving them advice on how to cut cords of the past so they can release, so they can see the victory when it's in front of their face. Right? Divine feminine energy. This is also spirituality right here, but this is soulmate too. And I feel like you're going to have to help this person kind of open up to see that love can be real, right? So I'm going to roll the, the dice to see what zodiac signs you're dealing with. So we have Libra. Capricorn. And Taurus. So I'm going to pull some initials. This is going to be yours or there, first, middle, or last. Street name, passed over loved one, anything that you might find resonance with, especially this, the, the read itself, okay? So we have T, B, H, L, S, and N. All right, so any of these initials, T, B, H, L, S, N, any of these come out, um, or they're yours or, or your person's that you're gonna know. All right. Um, Aries, I'm going to leave it right there for you guys. I wish you all the best.